Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Hello, everybody. It's James, and I'm bringing you guys another Neptic Fathers video. And today, I figured I am talking about something different for change. This time, we're doing a monastery intro video. So right now, we're on our way to Saint Iacobo's New Studio Monastery in Piedmont, Oklahoma. And I thought I'd cover just some of the basics of what it, uh, maybe some etiquette and stuff like that for those who watch this channel and never been to a monastery before. So, uh, one, one of the things that you want to do before you normally attend a monastery is you want to make sure that you contact the monastery either by cell phone or uh, through the email to make sure that you have a blessing to go because sometimes monasteries close down during certain uh, certain times of the Orthodox calendar, like some monasteries might be closed the first week of Lent or during Holy Week. So you just always want to make sure that you call them ahead of time. Also, another thing that people might not notice is uh, some monasteries will have dress code requirements. So normally for the women, it'll be a, a skirt or a dress and uh, head coverings. And for guys, a lot of times, uh, long sleeve shirts will be required, uh, pants and long sleeve shirts and shoes. So that's something uh, that you want to make sure that you have. And also, when you go to a monastery, uh, for a longer period of time, normally you'll get a, an obedience, and the obedience will be like some sort of task or some sort of work that needs to be done around the monastery that uh, that you'll do as a part of your stay. Sometimes also, uh, when you stay a short time, you won't get an obedience. It just kind of depends on the monastery. And then also, uh, it's good to do donations to the monastery. Uh, if you're going to stay for a longer amount of time, or I mean, you can, I guess, donate any time, uh, but uh, it's uh, a good thing to do. Also, another thing that's uh, nice about attending a monastery is a lot of the services that you don't get at a parish will be held. Like, for example, uh, Compline is uh, not normally a service that's done at the parish, but uh, a lot of monasteries do those. And then also, by going to the services all the time, I think if you stay for a week or, or an extended amount of time, you're able to go to, like, matins every morning. And then you can kind of learn also the cycle of services and how you put the services together. And if you guys are interested in finding monasteries, uh, the uh, Society of Canonical Orthodox Bishops has a uh, atlas for the monasteries and the pdf is completely free but they also have a hardback version that can be purchased online so uh other than that if you guys have any questions uh put something in the comments i'll probably add some more to this video maybe edit in some stuff they turned off oh. all right let's, let's see here okay it's focused now all right so here we are at the gates of the monastery. It's Saint Iacobos New Studio Monastery. Nice. Right. Yeah. What's that little building? That's uh, it's a rectory. I can't remember who's living there. I think it is. Yeah. Oh, guys, tell us. This is a formal, former former uh, Carmelite monastery that the Georgians got. And it's pretty big.